The devastating scene happened right off Crater Road in Petersburg Monday afternoon. 8 News reporter Autumn Childress joins us in studio tonight. And Autumn, you obtained the video of this brazen act. Walk us through this. Well, Eric, Deanna, it's brazen, it's senseless, and it is disturbing. That murder happened in broad daylight in the parking lot of a family dollar. And we know the suspect is now charged with first degree murder, but still so many questions about what led up to this. A frantic afternoon in the family dollar parking lot in Petersburg. Dude right there the bending over just shot that old man on the ground. Pistol in his hand. Witnesses watching and calling 911 after a man shot another man dead, then robbed him. He just robbed him. He's robbing him. And drove off. Tell him we got a whole video. It all unfolded just before 1230 Monday afternoon on Crater Road. Police say when they got to the scene, the victim, 65 year old Robert Morton Booker, was already dead. The search then began for the suspect who led police on a chase from Petersburg to Dinwiddie County before being arrested. That suspected gunman identified as 31 year old Isaiah Tyree from Prince George County. He's now charged with first degree murder, the use of a firearm in the commission of a felony and possession of a firearm as a convicted felon. That shocked me. It really shocked me because he don't bother anyone. Kareem Wilson still processing the situation. He tells me he owns a business near the family dollar and he's often encountered the suspect, even giving him money last Friday. But you never know. That could have been me. He was. He was clearly disheveled when I seen him Friday night. Oh, have you ever seen him driving? No, that's what shocked me. I said, he don't have a car. He walks up and down the street every day. The gun shocked me. I like, he barely have clothes on when he walking. I don't know where he get a gun from. So, that yeah, it just shocked me. Tonight, there are still several questions about what led up to the shooting. We've asked police if the victim and suspect knew each other or if this was random. We've also asked about the suspect's previous charges. He just robbed him. He's robbing him. Tonight, Wilson says this needs to be a wake-up call about gun violence and mental health, and he's urging people to be vigilant. So just a scary situation for everyone involved. Again, we have reached out to police for more information and we'll keep you updated. In the meantime, though, if you know anything about this, you are asked to call police. In the studio tonight, I'm Autumn Childress, 8 News.